Sunside Day 2020, and I have um, Doctor. The, the name is Doctor Kibata. <laughs> Doctor Kibata. <laughs> Doctor Kibata in studio with me uh, is an eye specialist. He's going to tell me the, the exact name also, because uh, these medical terms become complicated sometimes. But Karibu Sana, Doctor Kibata. Asante, Asante, All right. Uh, what uh, What is your title in particular? So we. I am an ophthalmologist. Ophthalmologist. Yes. All right, try spelling that <laughs> yes. as you figure out what yes. is it. Yes. All right, so what is an ophthalmologist? So, so an ophthalmologist is a doctor, first of all. Mm -hmm. So you, you may find a basic medicine. Six years. You may, Malisa, uh -huh. you have done internship one uh -huh. year. Uh -huh. You have been registered by the medical board. Mm -hmm. uh, then you have worked uh -huh. a bit so I that you... Experience is also very important. Yes. Uh -huh. Then you go back uh -huh. to the university for a master's uh -huh. of a minimum three years. Uh -huh. It's usually three to five years. Uh -huh. Then you come out, uh -huh. you work again for two years under supervision. Uh -huh. Then now you are registered uh -huh. as a specialist, as an eye specialist by the medical board. Uh -huh. That is an ophthalmologist. So an ophthalmologist is an eye surgeon who has also can sort you out. If they find a pregnant woman, they can sort out. Mm -hmm. You know, if you break a bone, they'll sort yeah. you out. But they have decided they'll specialize in eye care, in eye, care. I, in eye health. Why? Yes. But, but mm -hmm. there's also now uh -huh. uh, several other people who are also in that space. The, the eye space. Uh, the eye space. All right. Yes. Because uh, we know opticians. Exactly. Uh, we were told <laughs> who, is, who treats the eyes. Uh, yeah. Opticians. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. And, and we found even in textbooks. That uh -huh. is how, that's how textbooks that is, are. Uh, yes. Especially in primary. Uh, yes. Yeah. That's how they're written. But so there's an ophthalmologist. Then there's what is called an optometrist. Optometrist. Optometrist is the person who determines mm -hmm. whether you benefit from glasses mm -hmm. and if you do, mm -hmm. what power, what lens mm -hmm. and how you know the power of that lens. Mm -hmm. And or what kind of lens? And what kind of lens, mm -hmm. yes? Uh -huh. That is an optometrist. Uh -huh. And in, in, uh, in, in, developing country, in developed countries, uh -huh. they are also taught some basics, emergency, uh -huh. so that they are able to tell you, Chief, you, this, you are going to lose your eye, go. Okay. You know, they are able to so kind of... So optometrist, is that a doctor or no, a physicist? No, no, no. Optometrist is after high school, you go and do a BSc, three right. years. All right, so you, you study light, you, you study you, lenses. You, st you, study, you study the optical system of the eye. Okay. Because you see the eye is a camera. Uh -huh. So you just uh -huh. study the optics uh -huh. of that eye. Uh -huh. So a little bit uh, the technical side. J just the optical, uh -huh. the optics. All right. How do we get you in focus? Mm -hmm. Assuming that your eye is good. Okay. So the ophthalmologist is the one who will tell you is your eye good. Uh -huh. Fast. <laughs> Fast. <laughs> and then and this then guy then is going to Yeah, the they tell you your eye is good, everything is fine. Mm -hmm. But uh, you're not focusing. Go and see an optometrist. They'll sort your focus issue. All right. So Th uh, then, then there's an optician. <laughs> then there's an optician. Yes. Uh -huh. Now, once an optometrist tells you this is the lens you need, this is the power you need, uh -huh. the optician takes that lens and uh -huh. cuts it into the frame of your choice. Uh -huh. So an optician is a technician. Juakali uh -huh. He's a guy who cuts because those lenses come big. Uh -huh. It's a big lens. Uh -huh. But now the frame, you might decide it's uh -huh. rimless. You might decide uh -huh. you want uh -huh. to wear Michael Does Jackson. Does cutting it change the dynamics? Of no, 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 no. He has to cut it in such a way that it fits the frame uh -huh. and still is well centered uh -huh. and, and, and does the job. Everything is in. Place. So that's an optician. That's uh -huh. the one who fits that lens into your frame. Okay, I think we need to revise the syllabus in primary. Uh, yes, <laughs> yes. Then there's an ophthalmic nurse. Uh -huh. An ophthalmic nurse now is a nurse. Mm -hmm. they, they've done nursing. Uh -huh. Then they go back and do a uh, diploma in, uh -huh. in ophthalmology nursing. Because uh -huh. nursing in eyes is, is very different from... Because uh -huh. the, the, the eyes are very, very sensitive. There's a different uh, animal altogether. Uh -huh. Then on top of that, uh -huh. there's also clinical officers. So uh -huh. you know the clinical officers they do a diploma in medicine. Uh -huh. They can also decide to specialize in eyes. Uh -huh. So there's an ophthalmic clinical officer. Uh -huh. You find a lot of them actually are, they are the frontline workers in government hospitals. Uh -huh. When you walk into an eye unit, most probably you're going to find an ophthalmic clinical officer. Uh -huh. uh, the frontline workers. Very, very important cadre of workers. Uh -huh. And in that they can also decide to specialize in surgery, cataract surgery. Uh -huh. So you become a cataract ophthalmic clinical officer.
Uh, yeah, there's uh, a, they, they operate cataracts. So there are levels. So there are levels to all this. All right. And, and you all work hand in hand. You we all work, work together. Yes. We all, all right. work together as a team. Everybody needs the other. Yes. In this but, but you see now, mm -hmm. the problem now is to the general public, to the uh -huh. consumer. Mm -hmm. Everybody is uh, the same. Everybody is the same uh -huh. and everybody is an optician. All right. Because every corner of the street, there's a big sign, <laughs> optician. Can you see the adverts <laughs> are all over? We see billboards. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yeah. So, so yeah. Th that's the and and unfortunately, because mm -hmm. of ethics uh -huh. and and lack of uh, regulation, mm -hmm. the uh, anyone can open an optical shop. Mm -hmm. You you need a business license. Uh -huh. Let all me you tell need you, Barry. Yes, when the city council will pay business license, then you can open an optical shop. I can start selling glasses. Yes. Yes. Without no training, you just need a white kabuti there. A computerized test, uh -huh. and uh, you're in business. And because of that, there's a lot of mismanagement. There's uh -huh. a lot of fraud. There's uh -huh. just a lot of, you know, wrong things. You know, because that. All right. That who's, who's the important? Uh, who, who's in charge, rather? Who's in charge of uh, legislation that there, controls? There's no one. There's no one in charge of the optometrists. Uh -huh. Yes, it is a, it is a bad situation in this government, in this uh, country, where we have this cadre of people who are offering care to humans. Uh -huh. But they are not regulated. Without proper training, without regulation. Yes, yeah. So that, that is something that needs to be sorted out because there, there's a lot of uh, problems in that. And, 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 and unfortunately, you can't take them to, you can't take them anywhere. Take them to, there's no, there's there's no, no board. There's, there's no, no board, board. There's no, board. There's there's no, no law. law that the only law is it's a business and they, they paid. So they council, they have a license. Uh, yes, and yeah. we're trying to grow the economy. <laughs> yes, and we're trying to grow the economy. <laughs> I see. That's why we have the World Psych Day, to raise That's awareness. Exactly. Uh, uh, on this on particular this, topic. Yes, right yes. To raise awareness mm -hmm. on the providers, to raise awareness mm -hmm. to the general population that mm -hmm. look, you know, uh, without sight, uh -huh. you, you, you are done. All right. You, 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 you know, a lot of things can go wrong. Uh, from your experience, what yes. is the biggest problem when it comes to eye care? Let the, me start uh, on the side of the, of, the, of the patients or potential patients. <laughs> I what think is the, the biggest the, the problem. Biggest, the biggest problem from the patient is uh, ignorance. Ignorance. Yes. Mm -hmm. Lack lack of awareness. Mm -hmm. Lack of awareness in the sense that uh, you know you 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 just think that nothing can go wrong mm -hmm. with your eyes. You always mm -hmm. see. Yes. You Nalala, always see. You wake up. You you always you see. see. You, yeah. you you overlook it. There. You just <laughs> think that you'll always see, uh -huh. but you you can fail to see. Uh -huh. So so there is that uh, ignorance that I, eyesight needs to be taken care of, mm -hmm. and you can lose it. Mm -hmm. Then there is the ignorance on on okay. So when you need help, where do you go? Because mm -hmm. as you are saying, mm -hmm. the first point of call is the optician, mm -hmm. who may be complete quack. I, I'm uh, in business, yes. just in business. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. You walk in there, regardless of what you have, uh -huh. you will walk out with a pair of glasses. Mm -hmm. Yes, he's a salesman. Mm -hmm. He has to sell glasses. Then there is the ignorance on what are the common problems with mm -hmm. our eyes. Mm -hmm. What are the things we need to look at? Mm -hmm. Yes, uh, that is now from the general population. Mm -hmm. But there is also a lack of service. Uh -huh. Yeah, as you, well. Yes, mm -hmm. you are in, uh, you know somewhere in a town mm -hmm. your nearest eye care provider is 200 kilometers away from you i see you. so you know even if you have a problem it just takes so long to find help that right. <laughs> you have so, a problem so care provide uh, providers are not enough they are the not country. enough no 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 mm -hmm. by any stretch so people were uh, what one analyze form for say should yeah. Uh, should join. <laughs> yes, should join but, but they need to be prepared for a journey. For a journey. Yeah, yeah. All right, as you. Uh, stats show that uh, more than a billion people cannot yeah. see well. Yes. Yep. But let's bring it home. Uh -huh. That's a billion people worldwide. Across the world. In this country, uh -huh. it is estimated that about 250 to 300 people, 300,000 people uh -huh. are blind. No, they can't see well. Uh -huh. They are blind. Blind. Three hundred thousand people are blind. Yes, yeah. All right. So that can give you a rough idea of and, and how uh, many people can not and, see. And, and remember, once uh -huh. you're blind, there is a family member who has to stay home. Uh -huh. Yeah. It affects the whole it dynamic. It affects the family. It affects uh -huh. your neighborhood. You 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 are not productive. You're uh -huh. dependent. You have lost income. Mm -hmm. Uh, and and the statistics show also that once you go blind, mm -hmm. your risk of death is five times more than the average. Yeah, wow. somebody who's blind is m five more times likely to die Up earlier to than you. Three hundred thousand. Yes, that's a big number. And right then there. there's another like a million or two mm -hmm. who can't see well. 
So we say they are visually disabled, visual impairment. Visual impairment. Yes. There's a very huge chunk of this a million that drives on our roads. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. There are stories that I, I, I can't say on television. Uh -huh. <laughs> you know, but a good case was, you know, a guy who I operated on. And uh -huh. uh, he says, Dr. I'm just so glad. You know, now I can see. Uh -huh. So I tell him, you know, what do you do? Uh, I was a truck driver. <laughs> yeah. Wow. I was a bus driver. PSV Kwanzaa. Those are the worst ones. The other one was a watchman. I was just thinking, I was pitting his employer. <laughs> there was no watchman there. <laughs> it's, yeah. it's ironic. You can't see during the day what about at night. <laughs> <laughs> so, and this, this should not be funny. Yeah. <laughs> this should not be funny whatsoever. Yeah. All right. So, uh, how, what is the way forward now that we have this day, uh, World uh, well, Sight day. day? I think the way forward is to to talk to our to the listeners mm -hmm. and say, look, uh, you you need to understand that eyesight is is very critical mm -hmm. to your life, mm -hmm. and please take care of it. So, how do you take care of eyesight? Uh -huh. uh, number one, if you are hammering something. Uh -huh and cutting something, uh -huh. we, we always recommend put protective glasses, uh -huh. especially, you know, artisans, uh -huh. grinders, uh -huh. pl you know, uh -huh. carpenters, uh -huh. things like those. Things can enter your eye and damage your eye. We see all the time, we see nails, we see mm -hmm. grinding particles, mm -hmm. we see stones, we see all manner of sparks, things. The sparks. So if you, are, uh -huh. if you are dealing with high velocity stuff, uh -huh. buy a pair of glasses, uh -huh. goggles. Gla yeah. Yes, you just yeah. need something barrier. Uh -huh. So that if something flies in, doesn't your have eye, to be fancy. It, it, it doesn't have to be fancy or uh -huh. expensive. You're just it's a barrier. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's that's kind of the basics. So protect your eyes. But protect you, uh, if you're if you're in a field where you know things can enter into your eye. Mm -hmm. Protect your eyes. Mm -hmm. Then you have the normal wash your eyes, which mm -hmm. you are taught from primary. Mm -hmm. Wash mm -hmm. your eyes is, is is wash your eyes every morning. When you wake up in the morning. Yeah, uh -huh. wash your eyes. You you want to protect your eyes. Then we have people who have diseases that can affect your eyes. Mm -hmm. What to are some of these Top diseases? of the number one, two, three, four, five uh -huh. is, is diabetes. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> no, diabetes is number one, two, two three, and three, four, and five. Yes. Uh -huh. Diabetes affects people's eyes. Mm -hmm. But it does not need to. But uh -huh. people, you see the problem with diabetes is uh -huh. that you see well until almost when you go blind. Oh, so and you they, never see it coming. They, they, yeah, you don't see it coming. You uh -huh. also don't feel no it coming. Intended. There's no There's no pain. <laughs> <laughs> you don't, you don't, there's no pain, uh -huh. uh, and uh, you're seeing well uh -huh. until one day you wake up and, and you can't see. Wow. And then when you come to us, we tell mm -hmm. you, Sorry, it's too late. It's too late. But now. then you say, But uh, I was seeing well last month. I said, No, 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 mm -hmm. what was happening in your eyes uh -huh. has been going on for a long time. So, diabetes, and I want to speak to diabetics. Every uh -huh. diabetic who is listening here, mm -hmm. you really need to get your eyes checked uh -huh. and please go to an eye specialist, not uh -huh. an optician. Regularly, once a year, once a year, yes. Uh -huh. the, the, the standard of care, what we call standard of care, mm -hmm. is that every diabetic should have his eye exam on the day the diagnosis was made mm -hmm. and every year thereafter. Every year thereafter, if they did that, mm -hmm. we can prevent 95% of diabetic related blindness. And the problem with diabetics, they go blind in their 40s, their 50s, uh -huh. at the prime of their life, at the prime of their life, you know. Uh -huh. And it, it's you know, you have children in high school, you, uh -huh. you've just at the pinnacle, it affects of your, everybody it around, it affects you. everything. You have mortgages, you know, uh -huh. you maybe you've just retired, you want now to kind of enjoy, uh -huh. you, you know. Then Sight is blind. very important yes. for the hassle. So, so there are, there are uh -huh. diseases that affect eyes. Uh -huh. Then now there are issues now of just growing old. So we say once you hit 40 uh -huh. or at least 50, uh -huh. have an eye check once a year. Uh -huh. The eye has pressure. Uh -huh. And pressure is the second leading cause of blindness. Uh -huh. That's why your eye doesn't collapse like a balloon. Uh -huh. they, <laughs> you know, uh -huh. they, they, it has a pressure inside uh -huh. that maintains that eye so that the atmospheric pressure doesn't just crash it. Yes. And so it has to balance yes. that. That pressure, pressure sometimes goes up and uh -huh. the nerve dies. It's called glaucoma. Or glaucoma. Oh, that is, is what we call glaucoma. Yes. And it's the second leading cause of blindness. Is it is it correctable? Can you correct it? It is it is it is not treatable, but it's it is preventable. It is preventable. But then it means we have to diagnose it before you go blind. Otherwise, right. once you go blind, you're blind. So most of these things are preventable. They are preventable. But they cannot be corrected. So it's very important to the, check. The, some of them cannot some be of, corrected. Some of them. Let's yes. see some. Yes. So it's very important to get uh, your eyes checked. Yes, once uh, a year. Just, once a year. Yes, go for an eye check. Especially once you have 45 there. Uh 
Uh-huh. Yeah, once you start putting books there and here, trying uh-huh. to figure out, <laughs> or your phone there uh, and yeah, here, then you know it's, it's <laughs> time to see somebody. All right. <laughs> Another thing uh, that happens is uh, uh, you just walk into a shop in town. Yes. Uh, you buy glasses for swag, not yeah, for yeah. for yeah, side. Yeah. Yes. You just buy glasses for swag. Yeah. And uh, I remember my dad used to tell me, yeah. uh, you don't know what you're putting yeah, in front yeah. of your eyes. Yeah, uh, yeah. It's a, it's a risk. You yeah. might be uh, distorting yes. your vision somewhere. Yes. 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 Uh, do, would you advise people to just so, buy so far, whatever? First of all, people have to understand they uh-huh. see with their eyes. Uh-huh. They don't see with their eyeglasses. Uh-huh. In fact, I've always thought I should have an advert. You see with, with your, your eyes, eyes, not with your glasses. <laughs> and you put a big glass in front of you. <laughs> <laughs> so you, you see with your eyes, mm-hmm. not with your eyeglasses. Mm-hmm. So you have to make sure that your eyes are good. Fast. Fast. Take mm-hmm. a look at your eyes uh-huh. before you figure out that it's your glasses. Uh-huh. So you need to go to somebody who will tell you this, who will look at your eyes and tell you uh-huh. it's a focus problem. Uh-huh. So go and get glasses. All right. Yeah. The problem is that it's easy because mm-hmm. it's so accessible and easily, mm-hmm. you know, you just walk into any optical shop. Mm-hmm. However, having said that, mm-hmm. A, a well-trained optometrist uh-huh. and an ethical optometrist uh-huh. should do a basic eye exam. Uh-huh. They should check your pressure, uh-huh. look inside, look uh-huh. at your nerve, look at a few things. Uh-huh. Just make sure you're fine. Uh-huh. And if they detect something, they should refer you uh-huh. immediately. Unfortunately, that's not what happens. Uh-huh. Then they're looking at cells. They'll sell you. They don't mm-hmm. even do the basic tests. Uh-huh. And that, that is why we have all these problems. All right. Yeah. Uh, but, but not all of them. We no, have a few we well have a trained. Few, uh, yes. Uh, let's not uh, spoil yeah, all the fish. <laughs> all right. Uh, uh, would uh, the dark shades affect my eyesight uh, no, if no, I no, wore no, them no, over time? No, not really. Oh, not really? Yeah. All not right. really. So, so th- there is what we call UV protection. Mm-hmm. Uh, and a whole host of other things that we talk about eyeglasses. And I say, mm-hmm. look, uh, unless you are a, a fisherman mm-hmm. or a seafarer, uh-huh. or unless you are in snow, uh-huh. UV protection is is, is just uh, it doesn't really matter. Doesn't really matter because uh-huh. unless you are looking at the sun, uh-huh. why do you need UV protection? During uh-huh. on land, you don't get reflection of UV once light reaches the ground, uh-huh. but on the sea and the and, the, and in snow, uh-huh. it 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 reflects. So the next time you're going uh, for holiday in the coast, yeah. you better call you some UV protection. Yeah, yeah, but <laughs> we are going to be out there in the ocean. At the, <laughs> beach, right. at the beach, nothing is happening. Okay. The, the other big thing is also, uh-huh. we, we find a lot of, uh, you know, now during COVID, everyone is on Zoom, uh-huh. everybody is on online classes, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. you know, and, uh, and there are a lot of issues uh-huh. about uh, eyes uh-huh. because people are on a screen 24-7. 24-7. Yes. Uh-huh. And so you'll find now there are, there are glasses being uh, written, a uh, blue filter. Uh-huh. I don't know, there are glasses for computers. Uh-huh. And I want to say there's no evidence for that. Uh-huh. That is just marketing. That is just However, uh-huh. the way God made us, Barry, uh-huh. God didn't make us to stare at something all day. Uh-huh. That's not the way I It's not design. natural. It's not natural. Mm-hmm. In fact, if you stare at something, you don't blink often uh-huh. because you're concentrating. Uh-huh. And blinking and, is part of the blinking care. helps to moisten the eye. So uh-huh. what happens is you get dryness of your eyes, mm-hmm. and that is what gives all these problems you hear: uh-huh. sensitivity to light, uh-huh. uh, you're tearing, your uh-huh. eyes are red. Uh-huh. It's because you know you're on a laptop, then you no. go on your WhatsApp, then uh-huh. in the evening you're on I don't know what. So it's very important to take a breather. It's very take important. Take a to break. Uh-huh. Yes, from your computer, and and don't take a break and go to WhatsApp. Close your eyes, walk around, count butterflies, see the trees. <laughs> okay, another question that people always ask is it uh, good to watch my TV in the dark? To turn off the lights uh, at home? That, no, that one doesn't matter. That one doesn't matter. Yeah. I can still enjoy yeah. my TV. An eye is designed to accommodate various light levels. Uh-huh. Yeah, and it, adjusts. Very, it, it adjusts. Uh-huh. Yeah. So the eye is quite gifted. Yeah. Right. So uh, uh, from here I see uh, this day is was created to raise public awareness yeah. of blindness and vision yeah. uh, impairment as a measure, international and public health issue, yeah. uh, influence government uh, uh, and Honest. ministries of health to participate yeah. and designate funds for national blindness prevention. I'm yes. focused on this. Yeah. A lot of funds was directed to COVID. Yeah. A lot of funds uh, has been directed to education yeah. now that kids are going back. Yeah. Uh, is, are, are we getting a substantial amount of funding when it comes to eye care? No, no. So that one you can say outright? Yes, 
Uh-huh. Yeah, we don't we don't get we don't get anywhere where even we don't get uh, very little. We get very little. Very little. And 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 I'm not faulting the government uh-huh. because you you have uh, when you have limited funds, uh-huh. you take care of what can kill people. Priority. Yes, <laughs> eyes don't kill. <laughs> don't kill people. They can still survive. <laughs> but uh, without your sight, it's very uh, hard we, to without build. your sight. It it has been shown uh-huh. on an economic study that uh-huh. the investment you put in eyes, uh-huh. you get back a fourfold return. Fourfold return. Yes. Break that down. Four hundred percent. Let's do a, a, a simple case study. Mm-hmm. If you have a person who is blind mm-hmm. from cataracts at uh-huh. home, yes, the grandchild has to stay there, mm-hmm. or there's somebody has to, a care. Mm-hmm. There has to be a caretaker. Mm-hmm. So first of all, that caretaker has lost mm-hmm. time and revenue. Mm-hmm. Yes, mm-hmm. taking care of that man, first. and that man is not generating nothing, uh-huh. and that man will hit his foot and form a, a wound, which uh-huh. then has to be taken care of at the dispensary. Mm-hmm. You keep losing you spending keep, money. Yes, uh-huh. if that guy gets their sight back by mm-hmm. investing ten thousand bob, mm-hmm. yeah, for a surgery, sight mm-hmm. restoring surgery, mm-hmm. the person, the caretaker is freed. That mm-hmm. that immediately becomes income generating. Mm-hmm. Yeah, even if it's just taking care of the animals, mm-hmm. that person is no longer dependent. In fact, mm-hmm. he now becomes a productive member mm-hmm. of that society. In that one year, uh-huh. that whole homestead and village changes. Mm-hmm. Just because of one. Just yes, that investment. And so site uh-huh. restoring uh, interventions uh-huh. are very, very, very impactful. Much so more impactful if you look at just investment per dollar or per uh-huh. whatever it is than any other condition. Mm-hmm. It reduces the stress it, it, on it, the it person who It gives a to huge uh-huh. social return uh-huh. and an economic return. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Number two, it's been shown the worldwide that 30% of road traffic accidents mm-hmm. are caused by eyesight problems. Yes. So, so investing in eye health mm-hmm. might even impact our mortality, road safety, uh, road safety. Uh-huh. in the long run. <laughs> in the long run. So it has a lot of impact in it, different yes, aspects across, in different fields. across society. All right. So we need to take care of our eyes more. Yes. And we need more funding in this direction. Yes. Yes. All right. Uh, so. Uh, uh, somebody might be watching and they want to be like you. Yes. Uh, you took <laughs> So you studied your 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 first degree, six years, yeah. Nairobi University. Yeah, yeah. Uh, then you did your master's. Then you did a master's, uh-huh. that's another three years. Uh-huh. Then, uh, and in between you have to work a few, you know, uh-huh. a few years. Uh-huh. Um, and then for me, I have specialized in one particular part of the eye. Uh-huh. It's called the retinal surgery. Uh-huh. It's another two or three years uh-huh. of, of school. Um, I mean, my children told me, you know, we don't, we, we don't know what we want to do, but we know what we don't want. <laughs> you, you, you've been in school all your life. <laughs> <laughs> you enjoyed that, but at least your your health and uh, the general public it yeah, has an impact. I I, uh-huh. I, 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 I say Barry without uh-huh. fear or shame uh-huh. that I, I I give glory to God uh-huh. because what I am uh-huh. was a, a prayer answered. My, uh-huh. my dad went blind uh-huh. from diabetes. Uh-huh. And so, so it's a personal so I have, thing. I, have, I know diabetes from both sides. Uh-huh. I have lived with somebody blind at home uh-huh. and I have seen blind patients. Uh-huh. And, and I prayed and I said, Lord, this is what I want to deal with. I don't want anybody's father going blind like uh-huh. my dad did. And God has answered that prayer. He's opened the doors. I got scholarships that I didn't even apply for. Uh-huh. And, and, and really, I, I, I give him thanks. But uh-huh. uh, nevertheless, there is a road and a journey. Uh-huh. And, it's people, and, and people who aspire to be uh-huh. where we are need uh-huh. to know. Need and to know. count the cost. <laughs> All right. <laughs> yeah, but it's a very, very rewarding uh, career. Very rewarding career. To give sight it. back to uh-huh. somebody is, is just, uh, you know, heavenly. It's just heavenly. Uh, to, yeah. to, when people tell you, yeah, thank yeah. you, doctor, when now they open I can their eyes see. Like this and they I see. can see. Wow. It's very fulfilling. Yeah, it's very fulfilling. Wonderful. So you run uh, an eye hospital? We ran, a, I had a private clinic, which uh-huh. we then grew into an eye hospital. Uh-huh. So it's called City Eye Hospital. We also uh-huh. have outreach programs. Uh-huh. We go and find people who are blind and bring them in, operate them uh-huh. at no cost to them. We meet that cost. Uh-huh. But now we have partners. We had the Hilton Foundation as one of our partners. Uh-huh. Fred Hollows was one of our partners. Uh-huh. 
uh, and it's well, okay those programs now have come to an end because of covid because mm -hmm. now we can't congregate we can't uh -huh. bring people together mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, we also thing. have a program that uh, screens it's a camera based screening program for diabetics mm -hmm. we have a special camera it takes photographs mm -hmm. we're able to know immediately whether you are at risk of going blind and mm -hmm. and, and, and not mm -hmm. in fact that program is probably going to grow digital so that now we then use artificial intelligence mm -hmm. uh, you know that's where all this uh, technology then comes right. so that uh, you take a photograph an ai process tells you whether you're normal or not oh so i can do it from home you can do it remotely from, yes all yeah. right yeah. so uh, the future is bright the uh, future is exciting all right yeah. uh, do we have enough innovators uh, in this particular field in the country when it comes first of all do we have enough doctors <laughs> all right <laughs> we need to start with the innovation uh -huh. we have a problem we have about 160 ophthalmologists uh -huh. If you take a population of 50 million, that is, even if there are 200, that is uh -huh. one doctor for every, what, 250,000 people. That is humanly Th impossible. That is not possible. You cannot, we are, even in your are, lifetime, and then, you and can then, see 50,000. Out of those 60% uh, are in Nairobi. So, wow. so when you now take that ratio for the up country, it's even worse. I get the point. Uh, yeah. So there, are some, a, there are some counties that don't have a nice specialist. There's a lot of improvement. So there is a lot of work that we need to do, and that's mm -hmm. why we have World Sight Day uh -huh. to bring to fore such uh, imbalances, such mm -hmm. needs, mm -hmm. so that uh, you know we we galvanize resources to mm -hmm. to be able to do this. And uh -huh. then we we need nurses, we need optometrists, uh -huh. we need opticians, uh -huh. we need uh, clinic officers. Uh -huh. uh, we need the, so the workforce needs uh -huh. uh, needs are there. But but I always say, uh -huh. look at what uh, MPESA has done for us. Uh -huh. It has helped us leapfrog very many years uh -huh. and, and achieve a lot yes. just by that technology mm -hmm. and that is what we actually need in healthcare uh -huh. we really need to leverage technology uh -huh. so that we're able to serve a lot of people lot quickly of people. Uh -huh. otherwise if we wait for organic growth uh -huh. you know the normal traditional ways of solving problems uh -huh. we, we don't have that time and we are too far behind we are too far behind <laughs> the world is so the, the much far and it keeps moving faster uh -huh. every year we, so we, we need to catch up we need to use technology to uh -huh. you know d get this process going and i think uh, one of the things that covid has done is shown people that you know uh, innovation can happen mm -hmm. problems can be solved mm -hmm. life can go on using uh -huh. technology uh -huh. and and we should not uh, now go back we should use this to leverage uh -huh. you know uh, get 4g everywhere uh -huh. um, get uh, healthcare on the digital you mm -hmm. know platform because people have phones now yes uh, the, the 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 population of kenyans with mobile phones actually yes. smart mobile phones yes it's very high yeah, yeah i'm told it's more than 80 percent yeah it, uh -huh. it, we we kenya is laughed as in the world uh -huh. because uh, it, when we go to conferences uh -huh. You know, people say that country that has more phones than toilets. <laughs> <laughs> You've had this first time. <laughs> yes, <laughs> on, on, the, on the world platform. It's a good, <laughs> it's a good thing. Information <laughs> is more uh, important than toilets, if you ask me. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, well, uh, on behalf of the people you represent, what are you doing to commemorate the day today? So we, uh, we, we, unfortunately, we were supposed to have a walk. We uh -huh. were supposed to blindfold people uh -huh. from parliament to walk to the minister. So that they, they so, see. So that they understand <laughs> what it means to have, you know. Right. Unfortunately, uh, unfortunately, uh -huh. uh, today's uh, COVID and uh, CS and the whole group of Minister uh -huh. of Health, uh -huh. they're in Kitale. Uh -huh. So the walk can't happen, but there's uh -huh. going to be uh, a um, an emphasis on eye care from mm -hmm. the CS, from mm -hmm. the highest level in mm -hmm. the Ministry of Health. Mm -hmm. um, we are going to commemorate people, partners who mm -hmm. have worked with us. Mm -hmm. Standard Chartered, you know, Standard Chartered Marathon, seeing is yes. believing. Yes, yes, that, yes, that, yes, yes. That money raised uh -huh. went to eye care. Uh -huh. uh, they, they did a lot of work. We need more initiatives. Like yes, this. you know, uh -huh. Fred Hollows, uh, mm -hmm. Operation Eyesight Universal, mm -hmm. CBM. Mm -hmm. There are many partners who have worked with us and helped us. Mm -hmm. Um, and so there's going to be also a, a, a launch. Mm -hmm. There's a strategic plan that is being uh, for 20, the next five years in mm -hmm. iCare, mm -hmm. which is should be ready this year. So, uh -huh. so the CS is going to lead the nation in commemorating World Side Day right. and, and uh, highlighting the achievements uh -huh. and also enumerating the challenges that we see. That I'm we glad it's happening uh, from the top. Yes. I'm glad we have very able gentlemen like you. Uh, no, uh, no, no, <laughs> just just <laughs> another bad. <body. laughs> yeah, it is. <laughs> Uh, this right there. Yes. Uh, but for those who are watching and would like to get in touch with you, yes, because they probably have a have a relative, yes, uh, who's suffering or yeah. they are suffering. Uh, they 
yeah. themselves? How can they get to you? Well, Your camera is uh, that one. So, uh, that one. Yeah. so City Eye Hospital mm -hmm. is on Gong Road, opposite traffic police. Mm -hmm. It's yeah. a straightforward place. Mm -hmm. That's a general hospital. There is no, you just walk in. We mm -hmm. open Monday to Friday. Mm -hmm. uh, right now it is 7 to 1 p.m. Mm -hmm. We have a private clinic, which is by appointment. Mm -hmm. uh, you can get us on the social media. We, we are on Google My Business. We mm -hmm. have a website. We are on Facebook. Mm -hmm. um, just go there, you'll find us. All right. Yeah. You're everywhere. CTI yes. Hospital. CTI Hospital. All right. Thank you yeah. very much for coming through. Thank you, time. Barry. And uh, keep, be, keep a, doing what you're doing. It's been an exciting <laughs> uh, conversation right there. Yes. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Say hi to the kids <laughs> for me. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Do you happen to listen to hip-hop music by chance? Uh, no. No. <laughs> what is your kind of we, music? We, we, I, I'm a gospel man. You're a gospel man. There's uh, gospel uh, hip-hop. Very there's good there's gospel hip-hop. Gospel music. <laughs> uh, um, I like jazz. Oh, you like jazz music? But uh, mm -hmm. most of the time, when I Kenya Kenya There's yeah. no type of music. Yeah, per yeah. Se. Yeah. All right, man. Thank you very much for coming through. Uh, we appreciate you. We are still having that conversation on Facebook. We are asking you to tell us uh, Calligraph Jones' uh, favorite line. Your favorite line from Calligraph Jones. Let's vote for him. Let's uh, help him bring this award uh, Nyumbani. We already have the, the world record for the marathon. We already we have a world record for, for so many races. Let's bring uh, this BT Award home as well. We'll be back with some more of Hip Hop Thursday and uh, try to do something uh, to help commemorate this uh, World Site Day. It could be a tweet. It doesn't have to be so much. Just a tweet and create awareness. We'll be back with some more of this.